Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 26, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Tomorrow, Thursday, April 27th, the first quarter moon will be in the evening sky. You should be able to see that. It'll be mostly clear. The sun's Bots are pointing away from us now, but there have been reports of uh, aurora seen all over the place, all the way down to Florida, and like that. If we had been clear, we would have seen it this week as well. Looking at drought conditions, things are getting a little worse with dry conditions kind of creeping towards Longmont and this area. So, but we did get some rain. We'll see that, and that should hold things at bay. And if the forecast is correct, we'll get a lot more water yet to come. Uh, pretty severe drought here in Kansas and Oklahoma Panhandles still ongoing, getting a little worse, yep, expanding a little bit, expanding towards us. West Coast, not much change. Looking at our snowpack, my rough crude animation here, and you can see that it shoots way up with those bigger storms, and even with the heat um, and Few, fewer storms, we're still doing really well. We're way above normal. 131% uh, statewide for the snowpack. Still, I've heard a lot of the ski resorts are closing. So, oh, there's one more. Sorry. So we're leveling off right here. And this latest round did bring a foot of snow to some favored locations. And speaking of that storm, it was rain in the lower elevations. We got a third to a half an inch around Longmont. Um, about a tenth of an inch up at Fort Collins, down around Broomfield, Boulder, you can see three quarters, eight, and then even right down here over an inch of water. So, good stuff there. Looking at the overall map for the state for this last seven days, uh, it's good for the northern mountains and a little shot down here south of Pueblo. So, some drought conditions there. Okay, here's my severe weather animation, and here in the fourth week of April, we are in severe weather climatology time. Not great chances, but we do expect them to be kicking in at the end of April and May. And if we take a look, we got some bad stuff in uh, Texas today. And then we have a marginal risk of severe weather almost down to looks, looks like Loveland. And that will probably expand a little bit tomorrow when we get, get there. Uh, it's for strong damaging winds in the um, thunderstorms that do form. Uh, it's not for tornadoes or hail that I saw, though we did get a lot of hail uh, in Longmont out of this last storm. One, one good freak storm uh, did a number on cars and stuff. And then we go down here for the slight risk in Texas on Friday. So looking at the national map for Wednesday, Thursday, here comes our next chance of uh, showers overnight. Right now it looks like about a fifth to a quarter inch of water out of this one. They always overdo the snow stuff. Snow seems very unlikely. And then uh, Friday morning, and then it pulls out in the morning on Friday. Looking at our normal temperatures going from 65 to 68. Uh, low temperatures from 36 now up to 40. You can see the ensembles are uh, Keeping us in the lower end of uh, end of the thing, but there's some really big error bars here. And we see this is Thursday into Friday morning's storm, and then we see it pulsing every afternoon of storms. So I'm going to show the water vapor uh, prediction or the precipitable precipitable water animation in a moment. It looks like we have a bit of that spring pattern coming in, where there's just enough warming, enough moisture every afternoon that there's a chance that thunderstorms form and drift off the mountains into the plains. Here's a departing storm Wednesday from Tuesday. And next notables is that Friday morning storm, pretty strong little shortwave rotating around this big broad trough, another one out there. And we see snow in the mountains and rain snow stuff right close by, but it should be too warm for snow. Next Friday is the next big event. There's little shots of storms throughout the week, like I said, but the next big one is this low uh, moving in. We're going to keep an eye on that because I see that it does some weird stuff. Here's all the embedded thunderstorms and the large amount of rain next Friday. So I'll put this in motion. And there goes the Tuesday storm. Here comes the Thursday-Friday storm rotating through. 
big ridge on the west coast giving them heat and dry conditions. Watch that rotate out. Big low rotating over the Great Lakes. Here comes another cutoff low. Moving down the California coast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then Thursday it kind of pushes towards us with the trough. A front coming down on the plains. And it kind of backs off to the west. Kind of interesting, really weird pattern. Uh, let's take a look at our temperatures above or below normal for each spot on the map. The blues and purples are below and very below normal. You can see a Friday cold front moving down to Texas. Lots of heat on the west coast, melting snow a little faster than I'm sure they want. We are right on that battleground between the uh, heat and the cold. Right there. And you see the cold turning back up, then the warm air takes over for the end uh, of well, May 4th. And then there comes that next storm. There's thunderstorms. You can see the thunderstorm uh, cold pools there. So, kind of interesting. So, making the change over to spring. Uh, so, here's the precipitatable water, the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. Green is above normal, and brown is below normal. You can see the moisture moving away from Friday. And then we have moisture in place over the weekend. The heat is building in the uh, west at this time. We're into Tuesday, Wednesday, May the 3rd, and May the 4th. And here comes that blow. Moisture really converges over the state for that Thursday, Friday next week, and then moves on out. Okay, so let's watch these storm chances. There goes the Tuesday, Wednesday storm. Here comes the end of this week's storm. We're sweeping down the state, giving us hopefully in the drought areas some good water. It looked like this area got skipped though, unfortunately. There's another shot right there on Monday. There's some little shot of storms again on Tuesday. There's another pulse of afternoon storms on Wednesday. Here comes Thursday. And this seems to just really intensify quickly, give us rain and thunderstorms. It could be quite stormy. We could see severe weather. We'll see. That's a whole week away. But, all right, so over the next five days, or we see an inch of water up in the mountains, more down here in the drought areas. So that's fantastic news. And over the next five days, sorry about that. Um, got very little snow expected. It's going to be warm and not, not that big of a system. But other than this weird little hole right around Boulder and up to Fort Collins, there's a lot of water that the GFS is expecting. This is three inch, three and a half inch total over the next 10 days. And this pattern will change, no doubt. Um, more snow for the front range, some higher mountains, but nothing on the lower areas. So 60s, almost 70 on Thursday, cool down with that storm system that comes in Thursday night for Friday, then we're back to the 70s, going to next week with an increasing chance of afternoon pulse thunderstorms. Just keep your eye on the west, see if the sky's getting dark. New month is coming up upon us, and so taking a look at the oh-so-reliable uh, NOAA map, they have below normal temperatures in the west, equal chances of above and below normal chapel chances here and equal chances for most of the nation at least west um, for precipitation. Longmont leader, Field leader has frequent weather updates and great local news. Check those out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth. Keep looking up.